I love when makeup tells me what to do. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kimmy. This is my attic and today we are doing a little Halloween. I don't know if you can see, I got the Halloween headband out. I got my ghost, I got my candle. Last year I went all out for Halloween. I actually did Vlogtober and we did a whole bunch of Halloween stuff. This year I am um, doing Vlogmas, so <laughs> switching gears a little bit. But anyway, today we are talking about Kaleidos Halloween collection which was released about, I'm going to say, the end of the summer, very, very early fall. So it's been, it's not a new, new release, but it is their collection from this year. The collection consisted of two palettes, of which I have one, and I believe six multi-chrome eyeliners, which I have none, because can you imagine multi-chrome eyeliner on me with my nickel allergy. Oh my god, I know I sure as hell can't. So I had to stay far away from that, but I did pick up one of the palettes, so we're going to take a look at it. And I also picked up a blush, which is apparently not a part of their Halloween collection, but because of the packaging, I thought it was. Anyway, it's not. What can I say? So, like I said, we're going to take a look at that. First of all, if you don't know about Kaleidos, Kaleidos is, I believe, an only online brand. They are known, I think they're probably known for their future prison palettes. Most of all, I think that's what these were called. I know that was my first experience with Kaleidos. This is the only one I have left. I did declutter the other ones. I had two of the newer ones. Now, when they first came out with these, I know I wanted, this was the only one I got my hands on. I know I wanted the green one. I mean, I, yeah, I wanted the green one and the pink one and they were always sold out. And when they did come back into stock, I had kind of lost interest. That does happen a lot with me. Then they came out with a lavender and a neutral, and to be honest with you, I didn't think they were as good as the original, but I still have this one, and I absolutely love it. This is one of my favorite neutral palettes. Then they came out with the Escape Pod, which was like a bigger palette. I had that one, also decluttered it, really mainly for the packaging. It was like very big, bulky packaging, if you guys remember. But I think my other favorite thing, and most people's favorite thing from Kaleidos is their highlighters. We just spoke about these the other day when I did my highlighter declutter, and I did declutter two of them only because they were kind of colorful and I didn't think I'd ever wear them, but I don't think I will ever part with my Ray Rider. And then I do have the Prophecy, Space Age, Space Age Prophecy. This was released a little bit after these. I am probably gonna use this one today. But anyway, let's talk about the new collection, or at least what I have from the new collection. Like I said, there were two palettes. They retail for $22 each, and then I think they're, the eyeliners retailed for $16. They were beautiful. I was very tempted to pick up one just to buy it, but I'm really trying not to do that because eyeliner especially, there's nothing I could really do with it after I used it. And I know I wouldn't be able to use it too much because it would get, I'm sure, I am 100% sure I would have some kind of allergic reaction to it because I am allergic to iron oxides and my eyelids are definitely a problem area. So there were two palettes, like I said, I picked up Flowing, Flowing or Flowering? Flowing, Flowing Haze. Guys, look at that packaging. Kaleidos has beautiful packaging all the time. I don't think they ever let us down with their packaging. I'm just gonna tell you what the other one was called. The other, it's the collection is called Night of Creation, and the other palette was Glowing Iris. So they are quads. They are absolutely beautiful. The other one, this is more of like a purpley one, and then glow. Actually, no, this is more of a neutral one. Glowing Iris is more of a purple, even though I think this kind of has like a grayish purpley tone also. So I picked up this palette. The, like I said, the packaging is gorgeous. One thing I do want to start doing, which I've kind of stopped, is displaying makeup. Um, I used to display makeup all the time. I don't know why I don't do it anymore, but this is definitely something that I would display. The other thing I picked up, I thought it was part of the Halloween create, the Halloween um, collection because of the packaging. Again, this is a blush by Kaleidos. It's like black lace packaging. It's so freaking pretty. It's just beautiful. And what is the shade I got? I have no idea because it doesn't say. But I'll look it up. I will look it up. I know from just looking at it what shade it is. Okay, so these were called mono blushes. I don't know because there's only one. They came in five shades. I believe this one is Joyride because that's what it looks like. It's 
I believe this one is Joyride. These retail for, um, and it says a beige with warm peachy undertones. <laughs> Guys, I always go towards that kind of color. Um, price, $18. So that's not bad. Like, I think Kaleidos is pretty reasonably priced. Um, let me read you something a little bit about the palette before we go over, before I try it. First of all, I do want to say that on their website, it says this awakens you Halloween, a romantic bump in the night's thrills with Kaleidos. Um, collection, no, it doesn't say collection available. It says now through 1031. I don't know if that means the collection is available till 1031 because they also have like two offers under it. Um, when you spend $120 and when you spend $175, you get a pair of socks. Am I seeing that right? Anyway, I don't know if it means that those offers are good till 1031 or if this collection is only available till 1031, but you still, no matter what, you still have time to buy it. So I will read you a little bit about Flowing Haze, the um, palette that we are going to try. Insists on passion and vitality. I love when makeup gets like this. A sensory stimulation of paradisal brilliance. This Easy little number blend seamlessly for added definition and dimension. Helmeted by a soft ebb of color, the Flowing Haze palette delivers a delicate tapestry of customized intensity in a tightrope balance of cool, effortless glam and playful pursuits. Whoever wrote that, promote them. It includes three silky mattes and one sparkly duochrome. Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch it out. Packaging, absolute. 10 out of 10 beautiful beautiful packaging and now kaleidos is known for this they don't have the shades on the actual palette they always only have the shades on the paper that comes with it which is why when most people break out their kaleidos palettes they always keep these kind of papers anyway we have base radiate diffuse and accentuate those are the names of the shades some people really like that I've heard a lot of people complain about that. They don't like when brands name the shades after where they think you should put them. To me, guys, I could absolutely care less. <laughs> Actually, I like it. I don't mind it at all. I don't always know where the like what I should do. So this makes it nice and easy. And of course, you don't have to follow this. So let's go ahead and swatch it out. We have base first. Oh my God, they feel so smooth. <gasps> I love it. I love it. Look at that. I don't know what Maggie is barking at. <laughs> guys, I don't... <laughs> She's like going through a barking stage. I don't know, guys. She barks at like everything. But what I've read about the breed is that it's not that unusual. Anyway, that is base. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's like, I always love like these cool taupey browns. Love them. Um, okay, essential. Is my scent? No, diffuse. This is diffuse. What? Amazon. Oh, it was the Amazon guy. Maggie, by the way, is my teddy bear. My teddy bear puppy. She does not... <laughs> Don't mess with her, okay? She doesn't like the Amazon guy. She doesn't like the UPS guy either. She's so funny. Okay, so there is Diffuse. Beautiful. I cannot tell you how silky and buttery these shadows feel. I already lost the paper. <laughs> I think this was accentuate. I'm, I'm going by memory here. Wow. Look at that. That is really gorgeous. I mean, when you swatch a palette, I got it. When you swatch a palette, usually at least you get a couple of one or two mattes, even though there's only three here. I have seen plenty of palettes where the mattes, mattes were like patchy, whatever. Okay, this is the duochrome, and this is um, Radiate, and it looks absolutely stunning. Stunning. Okay, let me do that one more time. That's like a duochrome. It's like a purple, grayish kind of duochrome. It's beautiful, but I think that the mattes are the strong piece of the puzzle in this palette. They are absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and try this on. All right, guys. So we're going to do exactly what it says to do. We're going to start with the base. And I have pulled out my Nightmare Before Christmas brush for the occasion. This was from Makeup Revolutions collection a few years back. I think the best thing about it was the brushes. 
didn't like that collection. Okay. The formula is pow more powdery than I thought it was going to be. It didn't look seem powdery at all when you swatched it out. One thing I'm learning with eyeshadow is that you really don't know. You can't tell. Something could swatch out and not look so great on the eye and vice versa. There's a lot of fallout with this formula. More than I thought there'd be. But the shade is really nice and not patchy. Like I said, I love that cool tone kind of brown taupey shade. So I am happy with it. Whatever. So there's fallout. It's eyeshadow. Whatever. Who cares? Um, going to try to find another brush. And then we will do um, Accentuate in the crease. And we'll see if, <laughs> we'll go ahead and use the candy cane brush. Why not? It's holiday. Um, we'll go ahead and see if there's like a difference, if you can tell. Okay, so yeah, you definitely can tell. See, this is what I love. I love when like the shades, all right, so they are similar, but you can definitely, when they go on the eye, there is a clear difference. That was the whole problem I had with the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate palette. By the way, I just placed an order for the ColourPop chocolate palette. I am kind of surprised. Okay, I'm going to go in with it. I'm going to accentuate it with accentuate. This is not going to be a long video. Um, I was kind of surprised that ColourPop didn't release that palette a little bit sooner, like around Too Faced's release, because I think it's, um, it's nice. I think it is... Uh, kind of similar like it's supposed to be like a knockoff um, Not that much to live up to. I'm sure it will be better um, But they just released it. I don't know if it was like a couple days ago or today whatever So I did purchase it so I will compare it but unless Colourpop really drops the ball I'm assuming it's going to be better I'm gonna try the shimmer with the brush first, but It's okay with the brush. Let's go with the finger shimmers usually are much better with the finger um, the other thing, talking about ColourPop, I did, I didn't do it on camera because it's an older pass from last year and I don't even know if it's technically available, but, um, Hocus Pocus 2, the palette Hocus Pocus 2 that came in the ColourPop mystery box, if you missed it, I'll post it down below, opened it, it was okay, um, but the palette I was very pleased with and I didn't think I would like it, I absolutely thought I would hate it, but I absolutely really, really enjoyed the palette better than the first one. I thought the first one packaging was better and I liked the color story, but for some reason, I just felt like this one was better actually. The shades were better, formula was better. Could be because I hate MAC glitters and there was a ton of MAC glitters in the first Hocus Pocus palette. But yeah, I was very pleased with it. I'm very pleased with this too. I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna go just under a little bit with Accentuate. No, yeah, Accentuate. I will do the other eye off camera. Normally I do two looks, but with this one, um, <laughs> I feel like my the two looks are gonna look exactly the same. So, you know, that's always a drawback with a quad. How many looks can you really get? But um, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the, what's it called? Shimmer in the inner corner. And then, do the other eye and I will be back with final thoughts. Very pretty. Very pretty. All right, guys. So before I give you my final thoughts, I will tell you what I am wearing on the rest of my face. First of all, very, very quickly becoming my absolute favorite primer is the Milani Skin Quench. Oh, my God. If you have dry skin and you're looking for a good primer, I would highly recommend it. And it's from the drugstore. It is absolutely wonderful. Wonderful for dry skin. Maybe a little bit difficult to beat in our War of the Drugstar Roses, which I know I had like one episode and then it stopped. But life has just been crazy for me. I just had some stuff going on. I do, I am going to be continuing the series. It's not a race. I don't know how long it's going to take. We're going to find the best drugstore makeup. I actually have a Milani part two which will be coming out sooner or late, sooner than later, because seriously, right after I released that Milani, that Milani video, they came out with like two more collections. So we're gonna revisit Milani before we move on to Physician's Formula. In any case, if that's gonna be a hard primer to beat. I then have my 100% pure BB cream. Oh my God, guys, this is my favorite 
BB cream in the world and I'm not somebody that uses a lot of foundation. I always grab it toward th towards skin tints or BB creams or stuff like this. If I didn't have a YouTube channel and I was always trying different makeup, this would just be my, my go-to. I would just continuously buy this and nothing else is that good. I absolutely love, love it. Love it. Talking about things that I love, this is one of my favorite things that came out this year, the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. Absolutely stunning. I love this bronzer. The blush and the highlighter are going to be Kaleido, so we're going to try them in a second. On the lips, I have by ColourPop another round lip liner and Alice in Wonderland by Sigma. This is their brand new collection and this is what? Lip cream, kiss the two lips. I really, really enjoyed the lip products from that collection. Palette was pretty okay, and the face palette is on my Mercari right now. It didn't work for me. All right, guys. Oh, mascara. I don't know why this mascara didn't get as much love as it should have. This is the, excuse me, the Kacha. You know, Kacha always has to do something cute. So. There's, a, there's like three in one. There's a clear, there's a volumizing, and there is a lengthening. And I think it works really, really nice. And it, and it all like snaps together. Like, a, it's like magnetized or something. You know, uh, Katja always does some cute little makeup thing. But I really like this mascara. Didn't hear much about it. I don't know why. All right, so before I talk about my end thoughts of the palette, let's go ahead and try that beautiful blush. This is blush, this is this packaging. is something that I would definitely also, um, what's it called, display. I think it's absolutely stunning. And I actually did, like I said, I thought it was part of the Halloween collection just on the packaging alone. So we have here Dreamscape, is that what we said? It's kind of like a peachy, this is always, I don't know if you can see it, let me show it on my hand. Always my, my go-to blush shade is like that peachy kind of shade. The other ones were kind of bright. Um, because I'm so pale, I always feel like clownish <laughs> when I wear like the bright ones. But this is very pretty. Okay, see, even with a light hand, I look kind of clownish, right? Um, I honestly prefer, I am learning as I go that I prefer cream blushes. I prefer clean, clean, cream blushes to powder blushes. I think this one is very, very pretty. It's not my favorite, um, blush formula. I have ones that I like more, but it's nice. Um, would I buy it again? Probably not. Probably not, but it's okay. It's not bad. It's a blush. Sometimes I kind of feel like that. It's a blush. What can I say? What can I tell you? Um, all right. The one thing that I love and I haven't used it in a while. I'm kind of excited. We're going to go ahead and put on a highlighter. This is a Space Prophecy highlighter. If you are not familiar, yep, with Kaleidos highlighters, they look something like that. This one is a duochrome highlighter. It's kind of peachy. It has like a green kind of hue. Doesn't it all go with my look? <laughs> but I don't care. We're going to use it anyway. It's Halloween, or it's almost Halloween. I'm looking for a brush. I just took it out. What the heck did I do with it? All right, whatever, we'll use this one. All right, so the one thing that these are missing, I put on way too much on this brush. I am going to be glowing. Um, the one thing that these are missing is mirrors. They don't have mirrors in the packaging, but whatever. The packaging, I think, is extremely cute for a highlighter. You see, I don't know if you, do you see how glowy they are? They are extreme, oh, <laughs> now you see it, right? They are like really, really pretty. Um, I, um, they're just beautiful. Like they're a little much for every day, but they're so fun. They are definitely fun. And I kind of wish I hadn't given away the pink one, but I did. I mean, I didn't give it away. I put it on Mercari. It already sold. It is what it is. Um, okay, so. Palette, here's my thoughts on this. Packaging, beautiful. Um, for $22, if you like this color story, I think it's really, really pretty. It does have a little more fallout than I thought it would, but you know, a lot a lot of palettes do. It's a little bit more of a powdery formula than it swatches. Swatches like very non-powdery, but then when you wear it, it's a little powdery. Not that that's a big deal, I'm just saying. 
I think this would be like really, really, really good if you are doing some kind of zombie makeup this year. I think these colors would be perfect for that. I did a video last year where I did some zombie makeup. I don't remember what palette I used, but I think this would be gorgeous. And what's really good about palettes like this is that, okay, you do your makeup for Halloween, but it's still good. Like you still have it for the rest of the year. Like you could wear these colors all year instead of buying like these Halloween makeup palettes. They're not cheap. They're, you know, like I said, this is 22. They're not really cheap, the makeup palettes that you buy in like the Halloween stores. And they're like one and done. You use them one night and you're probably not going to ever use them again. Whereas if you buy something like this, which would be really good, like I said, for like zombie makeup. Because it's like, um, especially like this shade, like um, Accentuate. Really, really beautiful. Um, then you have it all year. So... Yeah, that's my opinion. I think the palette, like I said, the packaging is gorgeous. The shades are really, really beautiful as long as you like the color story. Um, I think well worth the money. Well worth the money. Um, yeah, I would recommend it. I like it. I think it's pretty. And it's gorgeous to display on top of everything else. If you like to display makeup, I think it's beautiful. The blush. Um, I think the blush is nice. The blush has beautiful, beautiful packaging. I have been known to buy things just for the packaging. And this packaging is stunning. Um, I don't think there's anything over the top special about the formula, but I think it's nice. So um, if you happen to, I'm not sure if I would run out and buy this, but if you do need a blush and you like the colors, I think the packaging is stunning, very displayable, probably will display it display. I'll probably display this. I think it's really nice. And there you have it. Kaleidos Collection, Halloween Collection, 2022. It's bad when you don't know what year you're in. I'm telling you, that is the kind of months I have been, weeks I've been having. So I have been falling a little bit behind on my channel. I do apologize. Like I said, I also have Vlogmas on the mind. What I'm going to do, I have to like get some stuff together, pre-film. It looks easier than it is, especially when you, you know, you don't do it full time and you have to kind of get everything together and plan it, but whatever. I've done it before. I'm sure I can do it again. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. We talk about it all in the attic. If there's ever anything you want me to talk about, leave it in the comments so you can follow me at Kimmy Teresa on Instagram. If I can talk about it, I absolutely will. Let me know if you guys have picked up this palette or if you plan to and what you thought of it. And let me know what you're going to be for Halloween. This is not going to be the last video I shoot before Halloween, but yeah, I would love to know what you guys are going to be for Halloween. If you're going to dress up or if you don't dress up, whatever. <laughs> Let me know that too. Whatever you guys want to tell me, tell me. Once again, I want to thank you so much for watching. I want to thank you so much for putting me over the top of my goal of 250 subscribers for the year. Last year I had a goal of 50 and I hit it at the, like in January sometime. So this year I had a goal for 250 um, by December 1st, by Vlogmas, and I have hit 255 today. So guys, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. And until next time, please take good care of yourselves so you can take care of someone else. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.